In this video, we'll show you how to solve a common problem in photogrammetry. The issue arises when you photograph an object, in our case, a pineapple, and the final result is missing information on the side where the object was resting on a surface. This happens because the camera can't capture enough photos from that angle. To fix this, you need to run a second photogrammetry pass, this time flipping the object onto the side that wasn't visible before. That way, you capture enough photos of the hidden areas. After that, the two reconstructions need to be merged into one. Up until now, there hasn't been a convenient way to merge two photogrammetry projects together. But in the new version of 3D Coat, we've added a set of tools that make this process straightforward and efficient. So let's take a look at how it works. First, we open the Photogrammetry tab and choose Shots to 3D. Make sure the checkbox Auto Reconstruction is enabled. Then we select the set of photos and the location where the Reality Capture project should be saved. After that, 3D Coat automatically launches Reality Capture and generates the 3D model of the object. So we automatically received one part of the pineapple. However, the model is missing the bottom part where it was touching the surface, since that area wasn't visible to the cameras. To fix this, we'll create another photogrammetry scan with the object placed on its side and then merge the two projects. Let's start by creating a new project. Now we have two halves of the pineapple. The next step is to merge them. To do this, let's find some unique or distinctive points on the pineapple that we can also identify in the second scan. For example, we'll select these two spikes and use them as our reference for alignment. So now let's find the same spot on the other pineapple to help the program merge everything into one model. And here's the same spot. Now let's rotate the pineapple so that this pattern is visible on each of them. All right, here are the two patterns. Next, to precisely merge these two pineapples, we'll use the Fit tool. We'll assign it these two matching patterns, as well as a few other identical points. I'll apply the Auto Scale function to make the sizes identical. After that, we click Fit Using Points, and now the two models are positioned in exactly the same place. To be safe, we duplicate the meshes and convert them into voxels for easier editing. Next, we'll cut away all unnecessary parts. On one model, we'll keep only the bottom section, and on the other, we'll preserve the main body. For editing, we can use the full functionality of voxel sculpting in 3D Coat, which makes the process fast and flexible. To make the transition smooth, we can slightly push the edges inward with the clay tool. From each scan, we keep the parts with the highest quality. Now the pineapple looks solid, except for the textures. We then merge both models into one and run automatic retopology. For retopology, we'll use the retopology via decimation algorithm as it works best with highly detailed geometry.
we get a clean low poly mesh which can then be baked. Before baking, we can also generate an automatic UV unwrap. Here we can see a fairly high quality UV preview. Now, to bake it for per pixel painting, we choose to bake it either with a normal map or with displacement. In this case, displacement will look more natural. We set it up so that it captures all the details and select the resolution. Here we can see how the baked model looks in the paint room. From geometry, we obtained fine details and we also got a baked albedo color. But if the texture is not detailed or high quality enough, we can reproject the color from the photos again to achieve more detail. We can click the pin icon on each of these photogrammetry projects and select Bake UV Texture, and Reality Capture will reproject all the photos onto this model. Now we can see the difference in the texture. There are a bit more details, but the bottom still lacks texture. For that, we open the project with the second pineapple where those details are visible and bake the textures there as well. Now we have a clear texture for the bottom part of the pineapple. Using the tools in the paint room, we combine these two pineapples, and as a result, we get a highly detailed pineapple model with high-quality textures and a low-poly mesh. In the next lesson, we'll go over how to generate PBR maps for it using the Node Editor. See you next time!